Hi, I'm Jess Marsh. I'm a Google Certified Innovator and Education Specialization Partner from California, but currently living in England. I'm going to answer, how can I save time with classroom hacks, which relates to creativity and innovation in Google Classroom. Teachers are always super busy, so I'm hoping to bring some solace to you with a few helpful and creative hacks that will save time and hassle while also making you a Google Classroom expert. I will share several tricks that will help you save time and be more efficient when using Google Classroom, including navigating built-in shortcuts and hyperlinks within Classroom, sending messages in bulk, and scheduling assignments to multiple classes at once, a new exciting feature. Finally, we'll look at using to do and to review lists for organized grading and assignment tracking. The first tip is all about hyperlinks and shortcuts. Did you know that there are links everywhere in Google Classroom? That's right, even the class name itself is a hyperlink to a homepage, if you will, that will always take you back to the stream. From the hamburger main menu, you can also click to the links for the other classes and I like to use the keyboard shortcut of the command or control button and hold that down and open these in new windows. From the classwork tab, there are these main links here at the top, but each topic is also its own link. When clicked, you'll see the expanded view. And within each assignment, these numbers correlate to the students that have and have not yet turned in their work. Even the students' names are hyperlinks to all of their individual work. Next tip. Now let's go over some ways to accomplish tasks in bulk. Go back to our homepage and from the grades tab, use this assignment link to look at those students that haven't yet turned in their work. We can use the built-in email feature to email these selected students all at once. And this automatically puts each of their email addresses in the BCC or blind carbon copy field so that they won't see the other students that are also missing their work. This saves me the time of chasing each student individually. For those that have completed their work, we can use this bulk messaging feature to give them feedback. I can then follow up with personalized feedback in the comments section or on the assignment itself. I'm excited to share a new feature that has been requested by teachers all over the world, scheduling assignments to multiple classes. As you can imagine, this feature saves tons of time by allowing teachers to automate assignments across their classes instead of having to reuse and edit posts each time. Just make sure you've filled in your title before you do that scheduling. The final hack relates to grading. I think the best way to stay ahead of the grading curve and to be organized is to use the to review section from the main menu. This is an amalgamation of all of the assignments across all of your classes. But as you can see, you can also single out one class at a time. When it's time to do grading, this is the place to start. And you can see the separation between assignments without a due date and those with a due date. And as with most things in Google Classroom, each of these is a, a hyperlink to go and see the work of those individual students. The teachers to review lists are parallel to students to do lists and reminding them of that is also an essential time saver. Now we know what to do when we want to save time by navigating Google Classroom more efficiently and effectively. Thank you so much for watching and please check out the other awesome videos in the Google Classroom video series.